Hello, welcome to the Spoon Fork Heart Kitchen. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Siri. Today I going to show you how to keep cilantro and green onion stay fresh for up to one month. Today not the recipe day, but it will be kitchen tip. It will be good for you. I have the cilant fresh cilantro and fresh green onion from the grocery store. So I just bought them. I didn't do anything to them yet. When they come from the grocery store, they always get being wet like this. So this is a cilantro, and this time we cannot go out and chopping a lot. So we want to keep our vegetables stay fresh much uh, longer if we can. So I'm gonna show you the tip. And before we get started, I would like to show you uh, my cilantro that I be saving for more than three weeks. I save inside the plastic box and wrap it. Look, this is um almost one month, and look at them. Some is still gonna turn the color a little bit because of more than a month, but they still fresh. Okay, and sometimes we buy the cilantro and they come with a big bun and we just use a little bit for topping. And we have a lot of leftover and they go bad very, very quick. So today, I'm gonna show you the good tip. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first I'm gonna start with the cilantro. Okay, when you buy from the grocery store, sometimes they come um, like this with the label band. Just use the just use the scissors to cut it. So okay, <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> okay, first we're gonna start with the cilantro. I already cut one, but of course my baby making the noise. So and then we gotta use the scissors to cut it because if you pull it out, it will make the bruise. So um, better to use the scissors. Okay, after you cut the label band out, and you can see a lot of water inside here, and some leaf is yellow like this. You have to pick them out, and also the on the bottom, like here, the on the label band stay on. Sometimes it get a little on leaf like this. You have to take it off too, like this. Actually, this one is not too bad, not have a lot, but uh, you can see it's still, it's some yellow pieces and some pieces of bruise. Especially this one, really, really important. If you see something like this, they will make the good cilantro going bad too. So you make sure you take it out, okay? And next step, we're gonna have to dry them, uh, this out with the paper towel a little bit. Okay, and next we're gonna use a paper towel to dry the, the cilantro, the extra water from the grocery store. We're gonna use the paper towel to dry them out. Okay, one more. And be gentle because you not want the bruise, so just dry them really gentle. Okay. And after you make sure you dry it up a little bit, now we're gonna wrap with the paper towel. I'm gonna get the new paper towel, and I laying a paper towel down, and it will be easy to add to load them up. Okay, I have a lot of cilantro, so it will be a um, little bit difficult. So you might have just a little bit; it will be a lot easier. Okay, so I'm just gonna put about this much, and then I'm just gonna load them like this. Okay. And put the next one, do the same thing. Or if you want to do the small portion, by portion, and put in the bag, it's okay too. Okay, just I just, just gonna finish them all. Okay, and now I have my cilantro wrap it with a paper towel like this. Okay, make sure everything go inside. If it's too long in the bottom, you can cut them out. Okay, and I'm gonna just uh, store them inside the uh, Ziploc bag. If you want to put them inside the plastic box like I told you in the beginning, you can do that too. And now um, we done and we can uh, store in this in refrigerator up to a month. And next, just a quick tip, I'm just gonna show you for the um, to save the green onion. It will do very similar to the cilantro. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with the cilantro, but I already showed you how to save the cilantro. Why not I do the green onion too? And we're gonna do the same thing with this onion that we do with the cilantro. We're gonna remove the bad pieces, especially on the top. Um, you can just use the knife to chop it like this, and then you can use the top part first. You don't have to throw them away. 
or you just if you not want to use them you just can use the scissors to just uh, trim them but if you want to cooking today you can use just a knife to cut them chop them up and we don't have to clean or we don't have to remove the loot okay and now it's gonna dry them up a little bit and wrap in with the paper towels and i show you with the finish and the green onion is a lot easier to dry them and sometimes when you dry them in the bottom and you will find this piece on the uh on the bottom of the loose please take them out because this is gonna make the other part getting bad too okay just like we do with the cilantro we're gonna wrap this onion okay just put in the paper towel the same thing and wrap them and I'm gonna put them in the zip rock bag and I didn't throw away the onion that I just cut the top part I'm just gonna put in my soup tonight okay so now here we go we finish with the cilantro and the green onion zip and here now I'm done I have the one bag with the green onion and one bag with the cilantro and you can do the same thing with other vegetable too just try to clean them and wrap them try to make sure it's dry and so you can keep in your refrigerator up to one month Today, I show you the easy tip today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up, subscribe, and you will see me for the next recipe. Thank you.